What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another Madden NFL 19 Seattle Seahawks franchise and today after a tough, tough loss in week number one to the Denver Broncos, we are taking on the Chicago Bears in Monday Night Football on ESPN. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe if you're new, and hit that little bell button right next to my name to get more to get notified of one every time I upload. Um, so that way you can keep up with my content. And outside of this franchise, there's other content that you can be watching as well. So enjoy. So let us take a look here at uh, what we are dealing with here as far as uh, standings and all that stuff. Now that we can get uh, a little bit of what we can uh, expect out of this year. Um we are missing Tyler Lockett for, I think, like a couple weeks. But let me take a look at the injury report here for both the Bears and the Seahawks. We are missing Tyler Lockett for about a month. And we are missing Will Disley for about seven weeks. So both uh, pretty big injuries. Disley had a pretty good game last week. So uh, it kind of sucks seeing him injured. Uh, Tyler Lockett as well. So it's going to hurt our passing game just a little bit. As far as the Bears are concerned, they got Zach Miller out. Fracture kneecap. Gee, I wonder when that happened. Uh, last year. So, he, the Bears really don't have any injuries that they haven't had before um, this season started. So, let's take a look here at the uh, standings. As we have a first... Our, our, it, it's going to drive me nuts. We had our first tie in the first week of the season. And I cannot stand ties. In the NFL, it's absolutely garbage. So let's start in north. Uh, the Steelers, Ravens, and Bengals all won and zero. The Browns lost last week to the Steelers, only by a touchdown though. So we have faith on the Browns to at least win a few games this year. Uh, the Jaguars, the only undefeated team in the AFC South. Uh, the Titans, Texans, and Colts are all zero and one. Uh, the Patriots and Dolphins are one and zero apiece. The Bills and the Jets are zero and one. AFC West. Chargers, Raiders, and Broncos all 1-0. The Chiefs are 0-1. In the north, you have the Packers, Lions, and Vikings at 1-0 apiece. And the Bears are 0-1. They haven't even scored a point yet on offense. Uh, the Saints are the only undefeated team in the south. The Panthers, Buccaneers, and the Falcons are all 0-1. In the east, you have the Cowboys and the Eagles 1-0. Uh, and the Redskins and Giants 0-1. And nobody has won a game in the West. That's kind of sad. Or actually, the, the Redskins and the Cardinals are both 0-1. So. But the Cardinals technically are winning the division because they didn't lose, which is stupid. I hate these ties. I think ties in the NFL need to be abolished. I really do believe so. That is, got, It's got to be abolished. I can't stand ties for the life of me. So... Um, yeah, we could get into that into a whole separate video uh, eventually. But we're going to get on with this game against the Chicago Bears. And it's going to be a Monday night game, so I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway here from Chicago as we are going to receive the kickoff as Rashad Penny has some running room out to the 27-yard line, so not a bad return to start off the game. Uh, so here comes Russell Wilson. Hopefully we'll have a better game than last time. He had a couple of interceptions last time. Um, 29 for 36. Still not a bad performance, like completion percentage-wise. Just got to cut down the turnovers. So we'll see this game. Get out of bounds. I probably could have threw it to the outside edge, but kind of felt more safe with Wilson throwing that one or running with it. I don't know why I just did. Over the middle, right there, Ed Dixon. 14 yards, first down. That's twice now where I've thrown it to a guy who's open, and then he gets clocked, and he just can't hang on to it. Ed Dixon again. He's just open. He's just open. 
now we're third and the 25. Amazing. We're almost out of field goal range. Oh my god. Incomplete pass. <laughs> god, I hate this offensive line. It's all garbage. And it's off. Janikowski has missed two field goals this year. It looked like it was going to go straight in. Well, that's way off. That's way off. Good job. Ed Dixon again, first down. What does he got, like four, two catches already? Two or three? Three? Three catches, 39 yards. You just got to run straight ahead. Follow the route tree. Brandon Marshall, there you go. Now we're starting to get the offense going. Why are you always sending blitzers? Oh my God, Brandon Marshall. There we go. He's got hands today. Oh, touchdown, Doug Baldwin. Not enough time. All day. He throws it down, throws it away. They're trying all these screen passes because they got these these running backs that can do that kind of stuff, but Oh there we go. Big, big, big play there. It's a new set of downs. Perfect. Baldwin! Oh, he dropped it again! You are so stupid! First down, Chicago. Nope. Check down Trubisky. For the life of them. It's ridiculous. I feel like I have to do everything myself with Russell Wilson. Hang on to it. Thank you, Brandon Marshall. He's like the only player that's worth the damn tonight. Any sort of running lanes at all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, Doug Baldwin caught it. Holy cow. How did I come down with that? How did that come down? I don't know. There we go. All right. Give me that first. Oh. Third and six. Oh, geez, they're coming. Oh, my God. And it's good. 10 nothing. Are you serious? Come on. 
Tariq Cohen, no. Eat shit, dude. Oh, now they want to try and get something? That's a first down. They're going to... Oh, oh, that was nifty. Oh, man. Oh, that was nifty as hell. <laughs> Look at this. Pop. And then whoop. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Popped him right here. That's a, that's, oh, man. You could almost call that an interception. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a run. No, stop it. No. What the f is that? That's not even close. We can make a stop on third and one. Not today. Uh uh. Good job, D. Okay. Lead him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So juicy. Give me that first. Third down. <sighs> Tried to squeeze it in there at the last second. And it's short. Janikowski would make that. I'm sorry. What? Janikowski can make it from 60. This is ridiculous. Thomas. And they got it by doing a little dink and, the little dink and dump play. Third and six from the 40. Get down. You're not going anywhere. And it is short. Way short. Doug Baldwin first down. Knew he was going to be open as soon as he cut his corner. His cut. He uh, got the top of his route and broke it off. Time to lead the league, baby. Dang. It's like I knew. It's like I knew. There you go. First down. Gain of 11. Ah, oh, crap. Intercepted. Bad pass. I got too predictable. I need to. I'm getting frustrated because my off my run game is absolutely garbage. That's what I'm getting frustrated about. I, I can't run. It it absolutely frustrates me. All these stoppages in play do, are due to injury, and it kind of annoys me. Oh, there it is. Right back at him. Thank you, Mitch Trubisky. We keep him off the board. Good job, defense. Absolutely no hands. And nobody who can want, wants any good separation from the, their defender. Nope. Offense fails to get another third down conversion, so. Oh, man.
First down. <sighs> Whatever we got to do to get yards, man. No time to throw. They ran engage eight, didn't they? This, this is damn sad, man. Quit your damn dancing, Tariq. No one likes that. No one likes that in this game. You're dancing. It's not cool. It's not cool, man. Okay, Chicago, what the f*** is this? You want to start driving now? To play now? Where was this the first three and a half minute quarters? How is he breaking all these tackles? I know he's a good player, but there's just no way. I don't know how... I. Alright, I'm taking a look at that play. That's ridiculous. There's no way he could have caught Did he catch? And yet my receivers can't catch the ball whenever they get hit with any sort of contact. That's ridiculous. Whoop! Doug Baldwin down the sideline. Give me that. First down, Brandon Marshall. <laughs> Russell, you're supposed to be a running quarterback too, I man. They're gonna go for it too if they if they have to. Would they? I don't know. It's kind of a tough spot. You don't want to. And of course he catches it. Why wouldn't he? Too. There was lots of coverage. Even where that even where that pass was thrown, I had a good chance of being intercepted. So I like that. I like the coverage on that one. False start. <laughs> Let's go. Big play. <sighs> they still got all three timeouts too, which is kind of scary for them or for me. See, if I do that kind of dancing, I get punished for it. Time out, Chicago. Oh, not a chance. Not a chance. Turnover on downs. Oh, man. Fourth and one. I got the balls. Let's do it. Are you freaking kidding me? You said the blitz. Oh, I should have called timeout. Seven sacks. Seven. Intercept. Oh, nope. That's game. Oh, my God. What an awful game we played today. And that's your ball game, folks. Seahawks 10, Bears 7. We got. We almost lost to the Bears on Monday Night Football. Holy cow. That was an awful game. But I will see you guys in the statistics area. We're going to go over some stats. And all right, guys. Welcome to the stats room. The final score again was Seattle Seahawks 10, Chicago Bears 7. Um, there's a lot wrong with this football team, and I, I, uh, oh. oh my god. So, Trubisky 24 of 42, 274, touchdown and a pick. Um, Pat O'Donnell, one. 
pass attempt for no yards, incomplete pass that he threw. Jordan Howard, nine carries, negative five yards. Tariq Cohen, six carries, 33 yards. Mitch Trubisky, five, two carries for 10 yards. Trey Burton had a pretty good game, uh, six catches, 81 yards. Tariq Cohen, six for 62. Anthony Miller, five for 10. Allen Robinson had a, cu- had a touchdown. T- Taylor Gabriel had a t- uh, two catches for 42 yards. Uh, Jordan Howard had a catch, and... Um, not much to be said about the receiving core. They did have a, they did have a solid game offensively as far as that is concerned. They did have players that could catch. They just didn't run the ball. Charles Leno Jr. gave up a sack. Defensively for the Bears, your tackle leaders are Leonard Floyd, uh, Danny Trevelin, or Tre- Trevathan, uh, and Raquan Smith. Uh, so they all had ten tackles or more to total um, sacks. Aaron Lynch had two sacks. Akeem Hicks had a sack. Leonard Floyd had a sack. Prince Amukamaro had a sack. Uh, Jonathan Hackins had a sack. Raquan Smith had a sack. And uh, Trevathan had a sack. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sacks by the Bears' defensive line. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Parkey missed a field goal earlier in the game. He did make his only extra point that he attempted. Um, So... Uh, his, his field goal what he missed was from 57, so I can't really say, oh, that's a bad kicker. Uh, Pat O'Donnell, five pounds for 253 total yards. Cohen had decent return stats. Uh, Russell Wilson, 20 for 38. Not the greatest stat line for him, obviously. Uh, one touchdown, one pick. He had a lot of dropped re- uh, passes in this game, which we'll go over once we get to the receiving core. Longest pass of the night was for 39 yards. Um, Jarek McKissick. Uh, J.D. McKissick, uh, just awful, 14 carries, 16 yards. Russell Wilson, 10 carries, 86 yards. Chris Carson, 8 carries for negative 3 yards. Um, I I don't know even know what to say about this offensive line. It's absolutely terrible. We can't get any sort of uh, momentum in the run game whatsoever. Brandon Marshall had a pretty good game, 7 catches, 92 yards. Doug Baldwin, 5 catches for 108 and a touchdown at Dixon, 4 for 48. Nick Bennett, 3 for 30. Uh, McKissick had a catch for 5 yards. And Jaron Brown. Um, let's take a look at the drops, shall we? 3, 4, or 5, 6, 7 drop passes this game. 7. And these are professional football players, man, mind you. You get 3 drops in a game, you're probably sitting on the bench. 3 drops. 2 drops. And, you know, Brandon Marshall had probably, you know, the best game of them all. He didn't have a single drop pass. Every time I threw it to him, or granted, not every time I threw it to him, but if he put his hands on the ball, he caught it. So three drop passes from Baldwin. Just the drop passes is just annoying. It's horrible. Dwayne Brown gave up two sacks. Effetti gave up a sack. Posset gave up a sack. Ed Dixon gave up a sack. We had given up seven total sacks. Offensive line is just awful. We can't keep possession of the football for our, the life of us. It is just awful. Um, total tackles belongs to Byron Maxwell. Uh, he had eight total tackles. Bobby Wagner had seven. Alexander and Frank had six. And so did Coleman. So those are your tackle leaders. Um, sacks. K.J. Wright had a sack. Frank Clark had a sack. And that's about it. Interceptions goes to K.J. Wright. He came up with a big one uh, in the red zone that prevented from the, the Bears from scoring a touchdown. Uh, Sebastian Janikowski went one for three on field goals. Not great from him. Although I'm kind of disappointed on the, the way, the length of the kick for some of them because I know he can hit longer field goals. I've seen him hit longer field goals. And I'm kind of disappointed on, on the range they're disrespecting him on. Uh, Michael Dixon, five punts for 285 yards. He had a pretty good night as well. Uh, Rashad Penny, two returns, 49 yards, and a punt return for 11 yards. So, overall, um, we won the game at least, just not in the most impressive way. A win is a win, though, if you're in the the NFL. So, you'll take whatever you can get. Uh, It was ugly, but 
again, a win is a win. So we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, next week, I do believe we're taking on our – we have our first home game. I think it's against Oakland or Dallas. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have to check the schedule. But until next time, my name is Still with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing. Peace out.